What is up, my friend? We are playing s friend. My friend. My only friend. What have I become? My, my friends, all of you. Hopefully it was more than one viewer. My friends, what is up? We are playing some modern today. And um, we get some exciting stuff going on. A little, little, a little time slot where we master preview later. Other fun decks to play. But we're starting out with an old favorite. Nahiri Boom! Nahiri Boom. Time Spiral Remastered Preview. My birthday is in four days. Hyped for it all. Sonic! One of our best mods. Sonic, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Happy, birth happy preemptive birthday, Sonic. Um, Nahiri Boom. Just a classic deck that I like a lot. I put this deck a lot. Uh, what is this deck? If you're, if you're not familiar with this deck, this is a red-white land destruction deck in modern. Built around lands that are indestructible. Which sounds like a silly thing for a land destruction deck. But we've got... Four Flagstones of Trocare. When it dies, you get a land. Four Cascading Cataract. Just an indestructible land. And then we added a Dark Soul Citadel for a ninth um, indestructible land. Why do we want these? Two reasons. One, we have Boom Bust. Boom is a uh, a two-mana Stone Rain if you control one of these lands. You've got you to kill your own land and their land, but of course, if your land's indestructible, it's two-mana Stone Rain, which is great. And also, have a new Cleansing Wildfire. Big, big boom for the deck. Um, already it might be fine in the deck anyway, because a lot, of, a lot of modern decks only play one or two basics, uh, good against Tron, etc., etc. But when you target your own flagstones or cataracts with a no cleansing wildfire, you have built a, ca a uh, cantrip rampant growth. And considering rampant growth is almost a playable card in modern anyway, uh, that's insane. That is insane. Just two for one for two mana with ramp, and not the kind of effect that red or white gets, which is awesome. Boom Bust does work with fetch lands, but then you've built a three mana stone rain. Which is not exactly a, a discount. So, not not super exciting. Uh, of course, we have Stone Rain proper. We've got Pillage. Now, we can't play Path to Exile in our deck because we're playing Land Destruction. That would be ridiculous. So, we have two copies of Condemn. I cannot wait to Condemn a Death Shadow. I want to do it so bad. And then, uh, Mana Tithe, of course, for a little... Get off my plane. We always have good Mana Tithe this deck. Always. And, of course, if we're Stone Raining our opponent, the Mana Tithe is great for Lightning Bolts. And then, um, our win conditions are a package of Planeswalkers. Now... Nahiri the Harbinger is a card that I like a lot. I played this deck in Jeskai Control way back when. Team MGG days, me, Pete Ingram, um, would, play, would play this Nahiri deck. And uh, you Nahiri, you up twice, you ult a frame or cool. So pretty powerful win condition with a Planeswalker, but it's already good in the deck. The deck can use some filtering anyway. Kills enchantments. Uh, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Chandra's obviously great. No introduction there. Baby Chandra. A card that I like a lot. Uh, Baby Chandra is great in this deck. You get to flashback all of our LD spells, um, flashback Lightning Bolt, and then we can also just use it to plus up our Chandra's and Nahiri's for faster ultimates. So, love this deck. I'm a huge fan. Cyborg's got Time Lays and Celestial Purges and Rabble Masters, and you get, you get the idea. You get the idea. So, we're going to play some Nahiri Boom right here, right now, to start our stream. Again, Time Spiral previews later. Um, ooh, what's this? 12 Crab? Mill? Maybe a cool stuff video coming out soon, eh? Yeah, I know, right? I know, right? And where can you find that? I'll tell ya! Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. That's right, CoolStuffInc.com. Not only great deals, but also I produce content there. I do a video article every Monday and a written article every Friday. And uh, this today's Friday article, what else could it be about, right? What else could it be about but the Lord of the Rings? That's right. Obviously, Wizards dropped, dropped the bombshell yesterday um, talking about how they're going to be doing a lot of crossover IP stuff. And uh, there's going to be a full Lord of the Rings set Somebody's playing a prank on me. Okay, we'll mulligan. We'll mulligan. Um, that's better. I mean, it's not great, but... Um, so yes, the uh, the Lord of the Rings crossover set, a Warhammer crossover set, uh, and a lot of other IPs and magic. And then, is this good? Is this bad? How do we react to it? My article on CoolStuffInc.com goes over it. Big thanks to my... Uh, my Discord. We got a nice long talk about it yesterday. I uh, mean, to coalesce my ideas. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. We're going to keep this. Uh, point of all against a six also. 
Um, we're going to ditch the Chandra here. We can't even cast it yet. And on a mulligan with no removal, it's going to be a little hard to protect. So Mog Friday later? No, 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 no. Mog Monday also... Uh, Thunder Wonk. I don't think the casting, hard casting Emrakul is possible in this deck. I don't know if there's enough lands, honestly. Actually, there probably, yeah, there is. There's, 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 there's no fetch lands. That's possible. Sure, that's possible. Um, but uh, also, coming up, um, on Mog Monday, opponent mulligans to four, by the way. Uh, on Mog Monday, is our Mog Monday showdown. Those who don't know, Mog Monday, of course, play goblins every Monday, but the first Monday of every month is a Mog Monday showdown, where I challenge a fellow content creator to a match of their deck versus my deck. And of course, my deck is Goblins. And we challenge Andrew Jessup and his Death Shadows to a showdown. That's going to be this coming Monday. Look for that one, of course. Manatite is here. God, you love Manatite. That's coming Monday. And then I have a very busy month here in uh, in March. I am playing multiple tournaments. Uh, I've been invited to. Um, there's just a lot of stuff going on in the month. A lot, a lot of stuff. End step. Haggle. Uh, this is awkward. I'm gonna I'm gonna tithe this because it's not a great tithe, but with only three cards. I doubt they have land, cathartic, and dredger. So let's just do this. Let's just do this. So a lot of cool stuff going on. Of course, also I'm also working on stuff behind the scenes. The new graphics are coming in for the stream, and holy heck, they look awesome. Ask a mod. The mods have seen them. Uh, that's going on. Talked to Scott Tune last night, and Scott Tune's working on the theme songs. And uh, upon Super Dead Airs, we're going to storm the crap out of them. And uh, it's a lot of cool stuff going on. A lot of cool stuff going on. Um, busy, 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 busy. Two for one. What's a two for one? Our mana tithe for their merchant? Pokemon stream. Pokemon! Er, I got the Pokey and the man. Alright, so we're going to. Uh, Probably still right here, even if we draw land. Sure, pillage. So mana is currently a little awkward, but... Get off my plane. Ooh, what's this? Another haggle. Okay. Once they start dredging, you know, like, you can definitely easily lose this game. But it's a Dakmar Salvage. I think we're fine. They dredge Dakmar Salvage hit Narc Amoeba. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Merger comes back as a preacher, so it's two for one. That's just not correct, Thunderwonk. I mean, like, yeah, they could cast the creature also, but that's more of them having a two-for-one than us having a two-for-one. You know, like, so... All right, there's Narco. There's Dakmore Salvage. We want to draw any red source or any uh, any land, which also is a red source, I guess, but... You have not missed Time Spiral previews. The order of operations today is Nihiri Boom, Time Spiral previews, an episode of Freshly Brewed, where I play an awesome Rakdos Sacrifice deck that I built, and then uh, a crazy Manaless Affinity meme deck to end the stream out. All playing, all modern today. All right, so we turn to Hiri, and um, Hiri's obviously fine here. Just play it, plus it. They have a Merchant of the Veil in the graveyard, a Merchant here. All modern today, all modern. And uh, we can... We're going to loot here. Discard Pillage, draw Mana Tithe. <laughs> sure. Bano! New sub. What's your name away from? Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Can't tell if you're trolling me, Thunderwong. I can't tell if you're trolling me. Let's go. Alright, they got nothing. We draw another Mana Tithe. Sure. We're going to dump Mana Tithe here. I think uh, once we discard a Mana Tithe, they'll never play around the third Mana Tithe, you know? And we draw a Flagstones of Trocares. We still can't cast our Pillage. Um... We're just going to say go here and hold this land in our hand, too. If we can pillage them off red, they're going to be, like, super dead. Um, they draw a Shriekhorn. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm trying to use your free sub, but it won't let you. What? What? Why not? Call somebody. All right, so draw Wrath of God. Um, we're just going to discard the Mana Tithe. This is like, never going to be useful in any way, so... So now they're going to start dredging, so... Discard this, and draw Boom Bust. Boom! Uh, okay. This is fun. I mean, we could, like, Wrath and try an Emrakul the next turn, but they could get, they could, could get Lucky and Spike off Shriekhorn, so... We'll just Boom Bust here. Get our other red source, too. 
Give me a boom. Targeting flagstones and mountain. So they're basically never casting a spell ever again. But they don't need to cast spells. Obviously, they can just dredge. So that's a little scary. But I think we're fine here. I think we're fine. Gotta get Sacred Foundry. And uh, just say go. Neri is obviously uh, working her way up here. To an Emrakul. Archon! Resub. Month number two. Most important month. Thank you. Appreciate that. You great? You great? Alright. Upkeep mill. No dredge cards. I think they're in big doo-doo here. They really need to hit a, hit a, a dredge card or two there and get the uh, get the train rolling. Wrath of God. Another Cataracts. Sure. It's funny, actually, because we don't want to stone rain their salvage because they can, they can dredge off of it, which is, like, pretty amusing. Uh... All right, discard the third cataracts and draw a sacred foundry. All right. Um, do we... I don't think we kill the Dagmar Salvage. I guess they could, like, if they've drawn a Cathartic or something. Maybe we do kill it. Like, is dredging two that bad for us? We're going to Emrakul the next turn. Um, we could wrap the Narcomio to keep our Nahiri around, but... Spreading Jelly with a Knife? Heck yeah, you are. Pillage the Shriekhorn? It only has one counter left. I guess, like, I think the fear here is that they have drawn, because, like, they obviously drawn cards that aren't castable. So, the fear here is that they have a, they've already, they've drawn a, the Cathartic, and they just, like, draw the land, and, like, Cathartic, and actually have, like, some stuff going on. I'm just gonna kill the land. I don't care if they, if they dredge it. I don't think. Kill that. We can wrath. Um, we can wrath if they uh, hit, hit some narcos or whatever. Or prize the amalgam, sure. That's what I'm saying, Bano. So me and my wife have a serious, serious domestic dispute about the proper way to spread jelly and build a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and uh, draw a lightning bolt. So like, there isn't really much point in ever cooling them yet because I guess we can put them to one. We get like 15, but I think we just get a plus Nahiri and then bolt this Um The only proper way is with your fingers. Hashtag chaotic evil. All right, so uh, we're just going to pause some more time. Discard Sacred Foundry. Draw another Flagstones. Sure. And like, I'd like to set up to kill some more stuff with this uh, Emrakul. And I still have, I want to solve that solve the Nahiri in play too, so. Yeah, just say go here. Dredge Stinkweed it. Hit Life from Alone and Blood Guest and Conflagrate. They just have no land, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to alt Emrakul, so there's no point in bolting here. And we draw another bolt, we just killed them, so. You're a lovely one damage short. Oh, never mind, they're dead. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! Emrakul, come on down! You're a nice contestant on. Uh, I can get Dark Still Citadel with the uh, Nahiri, it's pretty funny. Let's go. I got upstairs and Chapleys. Upstairs and Chapleys. Bolt ya. Bolt ya. Easy game. Easy game. Honestly, kind of a hard matchup because um, obviously we can kill their lands and their deck still functions. So, a little bit scary of a matchup, not gonna lie. Um, we're gonna bring our relics and our purges and our angers. And. Um, I would say our land destruction is not super effective. Condam is certainly fine. Manatite's actually pretty good because counter cathartic is so good. Um, I would say we can cut some of the stone rains, like probably a lot of them actually. And Chandra Aqualite of Flame can like flashback anger and purge, which is pretty good. So it might actually just be like cut all of these. Um could this like be better without the tr trocare or shenanigans? I mean, tr Flagstones is the whole point of the deck, right? With the boom busts. Um, we could leave it in one pillage, I guess. Maybe we want like a Johnny Vengeant. Is that just better than uh, a pillage? Problem Master, Timely. Is there still good value in Manatite now that they know? Yeah, I mean, we just want to like, you know, not... We don't have things to do in the early game, so... Um... Get relics. This is fine. The pillage is a little awkward, but you can like put like a timely in over the pillage, maybe. Maybe this Chandra's not great. Actually, on the draw. Maybe you want timelies, actually. 
Just like help stay alive, block the early stuff. Kind of don't hate it, actually. Chandra seems pretty bad on a draw. Just seems too hard to execute. Time will keep us alive till we draw like a relic or something like that. Yeah, let's get to that. I like it. I like it. Let's go. Boom. Thanks for following drops. If you haven't followed the stream at that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube. Please like, comment, subscribe. Take uh, just a few moments out of your day to uh, support my content for free. Good hand here. Good hand. Just the old wildfire on our own land. We did add the Dark Souls Citadel. We had previously only been playing uh, eight indestructible lands. We added the ninth, just in case. All right, so there's the horn. They're on six. Lightning bolts, sure. I mean, like, they have a good hand here. Like, we are probably in trouble. We can, like, delay a little bit with timely and stuff, but we don't really have, like, a, a good uh, good outlet here. If they mill two mountains, I believe he's like going to place two mountains, we could start wildfiring them, which is pretty cool. They milled four lands. Four lands. Pretty, uh... Pretty good mills here, uh, you know, you know, I guess I'll close this. Another Shriekhorn, sure. Another Shriekhorn, sure. Conflagrate for zero, sure. Inspiring Vantage, all right. That's pretty awkward, the Inspiring Vantage with the, with the, with the rapid growth, but sure. All right, wildfire our own land. Go find, uh, yeah, sure. They mill over Life Malone, Prize the Volume. I'm never doing stuff, which is scary, but let's go get a basic mountain. Oh, did your mana tithe? Sick. Sick. They hit Creeping Chill. Okay. And, uh, they can dredge this loam here. Now they have Coffle right in the bin, too, which is a little scary, but. We can, like, timely and hit two sneak weed imps, too. That's a little scary. It's a little scary. We're boosting, folks. We're boosting the stream. Use channel points. Boost the stream. Yeah, with timely and condemn and stuff, like, you probably have enough to slow things down a bit. Unfortunately, our mana tithe is probably pretty awful because um, I guess if it gets to a point where they, like, very common line is uh, with four lands in play, you, like, life mullen back two lands and flash by conflagrate, so you use all your mana. So I could see... Uh, I can see Mana Scythe being useful in that respect. Nahiri the Harbinger. Um, they can't actually attack this Nahiri yet, which is kind of a kind of a big game. And uh, they could conflagrate it, but we're gonna play Nahiri. Let's go Nahiri. And uh, we could minus some Shriekhorn. Not gonna do that. We're gonna discard this Inspiring Mantis. It's just too awkward. And draw another Timely. All right. I mean, if we can just defend Nahiri. With our timely and our bolt, and just ultimate here, it's pretty good, you know. I can't unfortunately. The limit is two thousand channel points for your boostings. There's a narco. There's a prize amalgam. Not a problem. Not a problem. Appreciate the boosties. You boost the stream. I get uh, boosted on Twitter. Twitter on Twitch. Pyrojack resub thirty two months. Holy heck. Love to see it. Really do love to see it. So they can like loan here and, and conflagrate the Nahiri if they want to, but that kind of burns their whole their whole shtick. So honestly, not a problem really. It's not great, but it's totally fine for us, I think. Oh, they have Idri Cathartic. All right, this is bad. So now we need to find an Anger of the Gods or something because now they're gonna dredge their whole deck. Um, couldn't have stopped it anyway, I suppose, but. We have a lot of uh, delaying tactics here. Barely making a bee in an anime. Keep working, Power Jack. You got this. I believe in you. All right. Um, they've got no mountains in the graveyard. All right. There's your amalgam. It's not even like that bad, honestly. We draw Chandra Torch of Defiance. So we can, like, condemn the Amalgam. We can, we can just block the Amalgam. We can, like, condemn or bolt a Narco. Let's, uh, let's plus here. And let's discard the Mana Tithe, which I think is, like, just not going to matter. Yeah. 
Wildfire's like... If we draw a land, then we want to be able to timely bolt and mana tithe or condemn. What's up, R. Perry? Here's the wildfire, I guess. Draw advantage. A little awkward, but sure. So you want to keep Nahiri going up. Um, so we're going to cast Timely Reinforcements and leave up Bolt slash Condemn. Definitely can't, uh, can't Nahiri next turn, but we are getting there. We really cast into Chandra? Uh, it's definitely possible. Oh, there's two more amalgams? I, I actually just totally missed that. I didn't see them. Uh, that's bad. All right, so now we're in uh, in Trump City, and they have Conflagrate too. Yeah, we're probably pretty dead here. I think just some pretty huge regs. Didn't couldn't find Anger or Relic or and like that. We can still like obviously find it. If we find an Anger, we might be all right. So they're gonna loam here. They could cast Conflagrate, try and like wipe everything up. We'll see if they play our Manatee or not. So they have nine cards in end. They can conflagrate for a lot. Um, can you imagine if they don't play land? The thing is, they have a blood gas. They have Your blood gas in the reverse. They like want to play the land. Yeah. Out of a big mental rut. Thank you. Havoc, Blade, Reset. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. Happy you're enjoying the content. Hope you're feeling better. All right. So some blood gas, and now they got to conflagrate with the mana up too. So sick. So sick. Thanks, Master. So, yeah, unfortunately, Mana Tithe not good enough here. Um, pretty sure we're just on uh, Draw Anger or Bust. Math! Resub, six months. Awesome content. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. All right, so 5111. Uh, sure. And now they got to attack this with multiple things, obviously. Attack Nahiri, attack Nahiri, attack me. Okay, so we like probably condemn the one amalgam. Even though we're like kind of just trying to draw to uh, anger anyway. We also want to timely next turn. So maybe we actually do want to take the damage. This is fine, actually. Iced, your sub now. Thanks, Lord Draken. So we'll just take it all. Just take it all. Nahiri's dead. Can't do anything about it. All right, they got 16 cards left. Wrath, Anger, Flagstones. Um, so we can Chandra, plus mana, timely, and then leave up a bolt. I think that, that buys some time. That buys some time. Called, reset up, thanks so much. I guess you don't want to tap like that. Do you like this? Add red, red. The timeliest of reinforcements. And Sega. Condemn would have let us cast timely. That's true. That's true. Because they would have gained life. I have one less attack of his turn. So maybe we should have condemned. Maybe we should have condemned. That's fair. That's fair. We would like to go into our turn. Again, a creeping chill. That's bad. Um, we would like to go into our turn with Chandra in play. So we just we just need to hit an anger of the gods. We have two angers. Um, hitting a wrath into a relic is also like possible, but less likely. They've already blown their conflagrate. Wait, they have another conflagrate? Two conflagrates? Who are these people? All right, never mind. They still have conflagrate. I only have one card in hand though, so I guess with only thirteen cards left, it'd be hard to loan back. They've forgotten cave too. Eh, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Chandra. Poor Manatith. All right, loan back some uh, some lands. Forgotten Cave, Arab Mesa Mountain. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh boy. Who's pumped for our time spiral previews? They're just gonna rip the conflict off right now. 
That's like pretty good actually, because now both conflagrates are gone. I guess they've only chilled twice, but now if we can draw a wrath, like might be able to wait them out where they can't get everything back. Um, if we draw an anger, I think the game's actually just over. So, attack Chandra, and they have to send so much at Chandra that three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. Yeah, we have two angers in our deck. We have two wrath of gods in our deck. Um. Yeah, someone just to go at Chandra, but like we're, we're like taking out, we're gaining a lot of life here. Chandra, Chandra, Chandra. So we got me, me, Chandra, 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 me, me, me. Um, I think this is just fine. We just take a uh, two, four, six, seven here. Can't defend the Chandra, so this is fine. We're 12, and anger of the gods, please. Oh! Oh, it's lightning helix! Oh my god! Oh! Boom! Get off my plane. That's what I'm talking about. Goodbye. Get out of here. Get out of town. You got nothing. So they have two creeping shells left. Up oh, there they are. Um, so now we're at uh, now we're at six, but they don't really have many actual. Up oh, they hit an ox. I think if they hit an ox, they only have eight cards left. So like, uh, I don't think that we're in trouble here. Mister Ride, new sub. What's your name? Away from. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Whoo! Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. There's your ox. Sure. So they're going to ox. They're going to, uh, they can dredge some cards here. They only have like a few cards left though. They hit blood gas amalgam. That's pretty good. But with condemn and lightning bolt, I'm pretty sure we can like, maybe we can buy enough timer. I don't know. Might still be dead. Might still be dead. All right. There's a blood gas. There's your amalgam. Uh, so we're not, we're not there yet. We've got to condemn. Probably condemn the blood guest, and then if we bolt the amalgam, it's, it's like never coming back. They only have one card in their deck. That's funny because condemning the blood guest actually gives them another draw step. Uh well, we got to condemn something. Um, I don't think we're ever like not casting condemn, so. And they can't cast Bloodguest. So it basically just nullifies the Bloodguest. Um, so we're going to condemn this. Probably should draw a card first to see what's up, but... Oh, we don't care. We, don't care. we, want, we like, actively want them to draw cards. They have two cards in their library. Because we just gave them a card. So... There's your Amalgam. Let's draw a card. Oh! Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! God, this game is so easy! Um, Raffia. Bye bye. All right, they have one card in their library. They can't dredge. Uh, we have a bolt up. We draw a land. We're gonna get it next turn. Oh, game. Blouses. That's what I'm talking about. Hype in chat, let's go, hype in chat. Who's pumped for the previews? Huh? Who's pumped for the previews? Four blue cards are coming, hashtag sponsored. Coming after this, uh, after this league. Gonna keep going, wanna know. Is it gonna be hard to beat Dredge? Actually, it's not. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Old bordered lightning bolt, heck yeah. If I condemn the ox, it draws them cards if they recast it. Um, yeah, but like, we were taking two of the blood gas and going to four, and like, they can't cast blood gas anyway. We would have haste on the last turn, but I don't know. Either way, you know, either way. What are you, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'll tell you, what you're, you're all gonna follow the stream. Follow the stream, hit that like button. Check out my sponsors, Call Us Apparel. Coast Power Left Shop, promo code Jim 10, 10% off your order. Awesome designs. 
Super comfortable, super high quality shirts. Oh, it's me. Look, it's my shirt, my sticker. We have stickers now, we've got, we got hoodies. Check the hoodie out. Hoodie's freaking nice. Hoodie's freaking, look at this thing. Look at this thing, right? Look at this thing. Get your Coalesce stuff. Promo code GM10, 10% off your order. Coalesce Apparel. Dot shop. We got a match, folks. Bob the Dog. Isn't this uh, one Gabriel Nassif? Streamer Showdown? Streamer Showdown? Mulligan. Game's always playing some uh, some silly control deck. Hands pretty good. Hands pretty good. Relic of Rest in Peace because of Emrakul? Yes. You cannot play Rest in Peace in your Nahiri Emrakul deck because... If you draw the Emrakul, you can't discard it and shuffle it. It'll, it'll get exiled. So, you already condemn. I'm sure he's playing a control deck. Mr. Nasif. Mr. Nasif. Are you ready? Are you ready to get boomed? Creeping cart. <laughs> Creeping fart pit has been called. Creeping fart pit. Creeping fart pit is here. Oops. Boom! Here comes the... God, that song's terrible. I don't even do that. Oh, it's Flagstones! Two mana stone rain. Give me that sacred foundry. Pillage on tap. Come on, I'm gonna draw land here. I'm gonna draw land here. Field of Ruin! Oh, kept a greedy hand, too? God, you love it. You love to see it. Don't love to see that, though. Alright, fine. Super rude. We're not going to sag a land to kill a field of ruin, so. Island? Crap. Crap. Come on! Alright, we're going to kill their uh, their island. Which sucks, but we should draw a card here, so. <sighs> Two man in the pool. Cycle Shark Typhoon for zero. Sure. Draw a land here, please. What's up, Gare? Happy Friday. Every day will be a Friday. You can even speed on the highway. We did it! We drew a land! They get a swamp? Interesting. What are they doing over there? Brandon from North Dakota, playing Magic since original Innistrad. You have a card, Gazella, Blade of Gold Knight. Your deck is blue-white to fairy control. What's up, my friend? Brandon, thank you for something. I appreciate that. Field of Ruin, sure. I mean, now the counter spells are online, but that's okay. Uh, Pillage's Island. Need to draw an Instructable Land here. Drown in the Lock, sure. We get some Planeswalkers, so... We draw an Instructable Land here. We can cast Double Boom. Double Field of Ruin? That's a mana base. That's a mana base. Alright. One Cascading Cataracts, please. Or Chandra. That's fine. That plays. Demands an answer. Today for a deck tech? Sure, that's fine. We can do that. Uh, it would be after this league. Go get him, buddies. No Shark Typhoon, please. Actually, a Bolt anyway, but... Damn it. Oh, Field of Ruin, sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is fine. Just get Mountain. What's up, Hedges? And end step. Eliminate! Alright, sure. And Jace the... What year is it? Jace the Mind Sculptor, what year is it? That's a problem. Um... And they're gonna plus targeting me, sure. And they're gonna leave a card on top. <laughs> That's not a card I want you to know about. Um, all right, we're in big doo doo now. Uh, I don't think we have any way to win anymore. Unfortunately, it's turn seven. We still have three lands in play. Um, always great planeswalkers in our hand. Tough, just tough. All right, say go. Tilt. Tilt, tilt, tilt. Such a great start, too. Just couldn't find, they couldn't find that land. 
What's up, Yogi? Yogi Brown. Yeah, we're super dead here. There's no chance to win ever in a million years. All right. Now they're just actually playing a prank on me. Uh, Vendillion click? Uh, okay. Targeting me. Nursey Bolt Manatites. I'm just going to get seed. All right, we're going to go to the next game. All right, tough game there. Tough game. Uh, great start, but... Uh, then we kind of didn't draw land forever. Uh, let's see what we're boarding in here. We're going to bring in our Goblin Rabble Masters, our Johnny, and our Boil. And we're going to cut the Condemns. And we're going to cut the Wrath of Gods. And I think that's it. We'll leave the Bolts in. Bolts still has play against, like, Vendillion Click and Sharks and stuff. And, um... Yeah, ship it. This is fine. It's totally fine. I'm not worried at all. I'm not worried at all. We shouldn't draw any lands that game, you know? Really good against Drown and Divistory. I mean, I don't think Gabe is playing into the story. I mean, maybe he is, but... Relic's, like, fine. I guess we can bring in Relic over Bolt. Sure. Sure. Manatite never comes out, though. Never, never, never. Chris! Boil them all. Boil them all, says Chris. Resub, thanks so much. Appreciate that. <sighs> Boil, boil, boil. We should have more boils. We have Mystic Sanctuary gone. Boil loses some stock, unfortunately. It's the only the only bad thing about Mystic Sanctuary being banned. Uh, sounds great. Keep this. We drew our cataracts. We drew lands too. We had stone rains for days. Thoughts on Soul Guide Lantern versus Relic? Why do you want Soul Guide Lantern over Relic? Flood Strand, sure. Fetching here allows me to cast the uh, boom. They have a thought seize. Sure. Awkward. Awkward. All right. Well, there goes the boom. We can like we can still uh we can wildfire ourselves, which is pretty good. All right. So go get ourselves a mountain. Draw a card. Sure. 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 Boyle is, like, fine. The thing is that, like, the blue decks aren't incentivized to play every island ever. They can play, like, Creeping Dar Pit, other stuff, too. So. All right. Um, that was a sick draw. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh, my God! God, you love to see that. Give me your Mana Leak. Mana Leak me. Do it. Do it. Do it. No? Mm. Sure. 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 Creeping fart bit. All right, untap. Nahiri the Harbinger. Slam it. Freaking slam it. Don't force litigation me. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. That's what I'm talking about. All right, um, we're going to discard... We're going to discard... I mean, Wildfire is a two-for-one. I should have the Canyon in play. I kind of want all these cards. I'm going to keep them all, I think. Bolt, if they have a, like, a creature to attack Nahiri. Tithe for whatever. I'm going to keep this. Just, no discard. Perfect hand. Just say go. Come on and slam. What's that from? What's that from? All subscribers, I have a suggestion box in my Discord. I would love to hear your thoughts for some future soundboard items. I actually have a whole bunch of them right here. I haven't, like put up yet you can't see you can't see them but raw dog snapcaster mage so we're gonna just bolt this um keep our keep our manatite intact keep our manatite intact sunken hollow has been called actually pretty good actually when i used to play blue white control i think playing one prairie prairie stream was it was very very good actually me and John almost watched Space Jam. I actually never seen Space Jam before. Um, and uh, me and John were looking for a fun kids movie to watch. We ended up watching Home Alone instead. He freaking loved it. Every time someone got whacked in the face with a toaster, he was just so happy. All right, so Mana Scythe is not good, but sure. Plus here, looking for our removal spell. 
Draw land, obviously. All right. Draw a card. Planeswalker, removal spell, something. There it is. There it is. The actual. Oh, it's Lightning Helix. Oh, my God. The actual Lightning Helix. Oh, you dead. Oh, you dead. Opt, sure. Sure. Oh yeah, Captain McAllister's a freaking a, a monster. Opt goes top. I mean you have a new Nahiri. Aether Gust by Nahiri. God, that's so freaking rude. That's so not cool. So not cool. Alright, we're gonna bottom it. Should we resolve a new one? So not cool. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Heh. We're gonna keep this island tapped. Alright. I mean, you have two Planeswalkers resolved against a control deck, so. Field of Ruin? Sure. Stone Rain, sure. Um, we can uh, plus Nahiri. Might get cryptic here if we cast the Stone Rain. Cleansing Lav. Are they like counter Stone Rain and bounce Nahiri? Hmm. Then we can tap down the hollow at least. Cast Cleansing Wildfire. Yeah, we're definitely getting cryptic here, but I don't think we can like play around it. Maybe we want to like probably want to just play into it. So Yeah. Alright. We already plus that. I guess we're gonna plus this too, just in case they have they want to bounce this for cryptic, so let's just do that. Kill this. I imagine it's gonna be Cryptic Bounce, a Planeswalker. I think it's fine. Archmage's Charm, much better. Much, much better. Wait, what? Oh, they, they drew two. Sure, well, that's fine. All right, and then we're gonna Wildfire our Cataracts. Go get a Mountain. Draw Sacred Foundry. Awkward. All right. I mean, Nahiri looms. Oh! Gay. Blouses. You're going down, Gabriel on the Seaf. I don't care you've won a Pro Tour, right? I don't care that you're in the Hall of Fame. I don't care that you're very good looking. It doesn't matter. We're going to boom you. We're going to boom you big time. Uh, keep this. Keep this. Keep this. Let's go. Janny. A Janny Vengeant. A Janny Vengeant. Y'all are doing great with the boosting. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Keep boosting. Keep boosting. All right. Uh, good news, bad news. Bad news... No Instructable Land. Good news. We drew Boil. So we're going to keep. Unfortunately, Gates got Thought Seizes too. But River of Tears. Oh my god. What year is it? That's what I'm saying about Boil not being good. So like, now that there's no incentive, incentive, incentive for every land to be an island, um, you can play other blue lands. It's kind of annoying, but... Upkeep. Opt. Okay. Aqua's bottom, sure. Canyon, sure. All right. What's up, Mr. Fringe? How's it going, my friend? Happy to have you here on the on the right side of history. On the right side of history. Manatith, uh, sure. They couldn't play Opt on their turn, but why play it on my upkeep is the question. End step, Shackle Shark Typhoon for zero, sure. Alright. Oh my god. 
kept the two lander against the the LD deck. Boom. Um, we're not playing Stone here. So I obviously have a counter spell. I could have like remand or whatever. We're just gonna hold off for a turn. We could boom um, with Mana Tithe up, but maybe I actually want to do that. Maybe it's worth it to destroy our own land just to like screw them because they can't they can't defend here. Yeah, let's, let's do that actually. We're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna boom our own stuff, which I don't love to do, but they'll mana leak, we'll mana, we'll mana tithe. If we have a third, a third, a fourth land here, we can't do this. But I think because they miss land drops, they have seven spells in their hand. This is worth it. We got Stone Rain teed up too, so maybe we want the eight, the the tenth indestructible land. The games are so much different when we draw it or not. What's up, Zan? How's it going, my friend? What's on tap today? I'll tell you what's on tap for today. We got an agenda. We're organized. Really, really organized. Nerd! Nihiri Boom. You're watching it right now. Playing Modern all day. Then we're going to do our Time Spire Remastered preview card. Ooh. Spell Snare. Wow. All right. All right. Didn't see that coming. Then we're going to play uh, an episode of Freshly Brewed, the show where I uh, I play a freshly brewed deck that I built. And that's going to be Rakdos, Sacrifice, and Modern. Then we're playing a meme No Land Affinity deck. Oh, we drew it. We drew it. Um, still casting Stone Rain, though. Imagine keeping a two-lander against the Stone Rain deck. Can you imagine? Should I bring any Arid Mesa for the Boom trick? Folks, Boom is good because it costs two. If you have a fetch land and need a fetch land for it, it costs three. Therefore, it's just a stone rain. So you just play more. You just play stone rain at that point, you know? All right. We're going to manatite this. Get off my plane. Nice control deck, Gabe. Mr. Nassif. Nice field of ruin. Ah, oh, now I draw a land, of course. We do have his boil, so. The question is, do we boom the, the field of ruin? Try and set up for boil? Probably not, right? Probably not. Who's the control deck now? All right, we gotta close though. We need to find a way to close the game out. You end up with an untapped land that you probably can't use realistically. Um, all right, let's kill all the lands. Kill all the lands. Hey, toots. I have a very important question. What? That's the only reason I would interrupt chat. The dog poop today. I uh, John took him out. You so did... you haven't? Not for me, no. Oh, okay. All right, um, Shark Typhoon again. Oh my God. They're going to have no permanence. They're going to have no permanence. Boom. Boom. We're going to lose this game. I got a bad feeling. I got the tangle. We're definitely going to lose this game. Ah, Scalding Tarn. Okay, I have to start. Let's look at this boil though. Let's look at this boil. They have Thoughtseize too? All right. Inquisition. Can't take the boil. <laughs> Can't take the boil, my friend. Um, draw Planeswalker, please. Planeswalker off the top. Come on. Give me Nahiri. Nahiri. Relic. Um, we're not going to boil only one land. Should we, should we boil only one land? Can't boil only one land, right? There's no way we can do that. We boil only one land. Sell! Thank you. Yeah, it's more like a, a, a rolling simmer than a boil, you know? Um, yeah, we just do it. Sure. Whatever. Like, they know about it. So, if they draw a fetch land, they'll just get a swamp. All right. Keep drawing running lands. So this is what we need to like, we need to draw, not that. We need to draw a way to win the game. All right, so we're going to start by cracking Relic. Sure. Love it. Love it. Love it. But Gabe, your lands. Your lands. All right. Drew another land. Sure. There's Nahiri. There's my girl. Let's go. Discard Hammer, cool. Don't surgical me. 
Vantage, not playing that. Not playing that. Let's go. Here it comes. What's this? Second, brought some running lands over there. Is Star my favorite card? No, but it's a card that I have, I have a lot of respect for. Does this get better, worse, or neutral Spirit Guide? This deck did not play Spirit Guide when it was legal. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Play Field of Ruin, Seigo. Sure. And here he threatens. Manatith is here. God, it's going to be so good. I cannot wait for this. This Manatith is going to be freaking awesome. Let's go advantage. Draw Lightning Bolts. Sack Canyon. Draw Sacred Foundry. Sure. Uh, Sego. End step, Snapcaster Mage. This is fine. We're going to kill it. Kill that. Nahiri looms. Now the question is, can we get punished for activating Nahiri? What could stop it? Like Disallow, like Tail's End. Um, are the bolts of a deck purely for control? Mostly just to kill creatures, yeah, I mean. Alright, we're gonna draw. Could get gusted here, that'd suck. Yo, Rabble Master? That's pretty cool. And Boom Bust. Okay, so we have a lot of, a lot of options here. Um, nimble obstructionist that would be unbelievably awful um, we have manatite up if we go over the boom it just float mana so it's not like we're like taking them off mana for the ultimate um, just playing around match is pretty good too I'm gonna go for it sure whatever Punish me. What do you got? Crack the fetch. We obviously have our Manatite here too, so disallow. Vendillion click. Um, just tight this. Just tight this. Get off my plane. Not sure what this could possibly do, but sure, whatever. Just for the full Monty. Give me a, an Emrakul the Aeon's Torn, please. I also want to play this Rabble Master too, if that's okay with you. No, no, see, no! Gabriel the Seaf, I was trying to kill you! After it was all over. 2 0! You took us in the house of service pancakes. 2 0! Let's go. Just wanted to have a Rabble Master in play too. Just wanted to have a Rabble Master in play too. I don't know why we, uh, we manatite that, that, uh, that Mendelian click, but. Oh, yeah, draw Emrakul. That's pretty sick. So if, if, the, if the, the click resolved and chose a card, we had like a 1 in 40 chance to just draw the Emrakul, and then the click doesn't do anything. We would have gotten a, a Goblin Robin Master instead, which honestly isn't even that bad, but pretty funny. So good Manatite, Jim. Good Manatite, Jim. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. 2 and up. Can't stop. Won't stop. Uh, no, Celestead. Put, put, it, put it in the chat. It doesn't actually work like that. Or I don't have it to work like that. So put it in chat. Let's go. Let's go 2-0. and oh. I do love this deck. It's like super sweet. Um, yeah, I mean, this is good. Can't cast the, the, uh, the Pillage, but I think I can Dem here, too. Obviously, every colorless non-red land we add is, has a cost, for sure. Bloodstain Mire, go. Okay. Cascading Cataracts. Once we play any of these lands, the gig is pretty much up. Um, yeah, whatever. Boom. Boom. Old school magic, yep. No Avalanche Riders in the deck directly, but Avalanche Riders is here. So another Dredge deck? Ugh. Dredge is not a good matchup for us. Maybe we got a little lucky to beat Dredge last time. And they, this, this player has a much better hand, too. Uh, I might be in trouble here. Might be in trouble here. Didn't know Dredge was so popular. And they hit, they hit the Amalgam and the Narco off the Dredge, too. Tilt. Tilt. I miss playing Modern. Uh, yeah, Modern's great. 
If only we had Plow Under. Yeah, Plow Under's pretty sweet. And a Blood Gas, too. Oh my god, their hand's really good. They have Cathartic, too? They have an actual function, functional hand. Uh, we're just gonna scoop here. Honestly. We can't come back from this, ever. Just look at more of their deck. Um, they had a Chill. Double Amalgam. Yeah, I mean, this hand's just way too good for us to beat. Look at that Anger of the Gods. Stone Rains aren't so good against a deck. It doesn't, it doesn't need to cast spells, you know? Cleansing Wildfire. Yeah, so what's Conceded here? It's fine. The Flagstones probably gives what our deck away, but that's fine. So bring in our Relics and our Purges and our Angers. Deck might, deck might want a third Anger, honestly. And then we'll take out our Stone Rains and our three Pillages. And uh, do we want Timelies too? Yeah, actually, we're on the play now. So Chandra's a little better than it was. Should we leave like one Chandra in? You need to like win the game, so it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, they can they can think we're like the Jeskai deck. It's very fair, or something else. Um, you can't play Rest in Beast in this deck. As you play, so part of the the way the Nahiri the Harbinger Emrakul combo works is if you just draw the Emrakul, you can just discard it to the Nahiri and shuffle it back in. So it's like self protecting, but. With a Rest in Peace in play, you can't do that because it'll, it'll get exiled. So you can't play Rest in Peace. Relic's still great, though. Like, I could see... I did, I definitely um, didn't update the sideboard super much from the last time I played this deck. And Reg seems, seems, seems more popular now. So I could see playing, like, a third Relic and a third Anger. Obviously, Anger has other applications, and Relic is just very good anyway. So... You got it, Selstead. I got you. I got you. So we got... In addition to our agenda here, we're going to do a deck tech for... Uh, for Selstead, after this league, and then we'll do our Time Spiral preview. Could you play Rest in Peace if we had Fire Prophecy instead of Bolt? I mean, no. Like, Fire Prophecy is just a, not a good magic card at all, and we would need to actually draw the Prophecy when we have the Emrakul in our hands. It's like, it adds so many moving parts, and it's not a good card, so it's just not worth it at all. All right, on the play. Uh, this is better. This is better. So we'll uh, we'll keep this. The question is, do we want to run the Relic on one or not? Yeah, I think we do. I think, I think we're just going to boom on turn two, so. What's up, Taco Cat? How does the deck work? Uh, you see a land, you kill a land. That's basically it. Basically it. Um... Oh, yeah, 12 months since some land destruction. What a day. Zondalf! One year resub. Thanks so much. You're great. I appreciate you. So now if they like spend their time to like claim this, we have to like start stone raining them, so. Rest of the Beast also turns off flagstones, true. That is, that is also true, also true. Yeah, definitely have nature's claim here, but that's fine, I guess. Typically I like to hold Relic for turn two against the, against Dredge, but we have a lot of turn two plays, so. All right, so we give them the boom. They're gonna kill our Relic, which kind of sucks, but. It's also possible they don't have they don't have uh, two lands in their hand. No, it's a red. We're gonna get haggled here. Ooh. Float a red. Sure. What about lay onto the void? If worry about graveyard decks. Um, I just hate ley lines. I'd just rather find another solution. Honestly. I think that I think that anger of the gods and relic are both fine. We should, in in higher we already beat dredge. You know, like. All right, so we're gonna. Eat this. They get to haggle. So they could spike here. They could spike here. You really have to give them less options because they're going to keep the land gone anyway, probably. And uh, they had the imp and the dredge. Dredge hits just some more dredgers, nothing else. So as long as they don't dredge super hot here, I think we're in good shape. They did not. So Comfort Ox of Agonis, Basic Mountain. Yeah, this game's over. We got him. We got him. Good. Wildfire. Okay. So now we're going to uh, just give them the old boom again. They also have a basic in play. So, believe Dredge plays two basic mountains, meaning that if we can, uh, if they find another one, we get to just uh, start wildfiring them. Boom. All right. And they have uh, a thug. But obviously, once they dredge, if they hit anything good, we just prop the relic, which is pretty great too. So, 
All right, Narco and Loam. This worth popping our Relic? I think it is. I think it is. Um, we get the Conflagrate, the Loam. Is it, though? Maybe not. Maybe just wait. This is fine. This is fine, actually. I'm, I'm lying. I'm making, I'm making it up. I'm making it up. Another set? Did we just get Kaldheim a few weeks ago? I know. The, the set schedule was pretty aggressive. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, yes. It's a it's a remastered set. It's like an old school set. So it's uh, a little different than like a normal set. But, all right. Exile a card. Going to wildfire ourselves. Little rampant growth action. Go get a, a mountain. Draw sacred foundry. I mean, we just play the old uh, advantage here. And just say go. No rush. No rush. What's up, Angel? Get a blast zone, sure. They got the they got a one way one one in play. That's sure. Yeah, I mean the, the thing is that Dredge really needs to get the two lands, and one of them needs to be green to turn on their life maloms and stuff. Otherwise, it don't really function very well. So this is definitely a pretty good. Up. We gotta find a way to win, obviously, but. All right, we have drawn a decent amount of lands here. Uh, we're gonna wildfire again. We're gonna draw a wrath of God. Sure. I mean, do we need to draw like you know a way to win eventually? But Chimera says on a scale of a raging goblin to Muxus Goblin Grandee, how hype am I to draft Times Power Remastered? Honestly, I do think Times Power Remastered is kind of a weird set. Like the. Almond Cat Remaster makes sense because the cards aren't on MTG Arena. But, like, there's not really, like, a clamoring for Time Spiral cards. And, like, they're not for modern. I guess they're for modern, but it's just, like, I guess. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fun to draft. I definitely love drafting original Time Spiral. Um, it's a great set for drafting. Um, I'm honestly most pumped about the first, like, pimped cards I'm actually interested in in the history of magic. I don't like foils. I don't like alternate arts. I don't like promos. I don't like full arts. I don't like anything. I am the crankiest, crankiest, crotchetiest old man ever when it comes to magic cards. I want the old, the first printing of the card beat up so it's cheap. That's what I want. I don't want anything fancy at all. Um, it's me yelling at clouds. But the old bordered versions of the new cards gets me. What's up, Ross? Ross! Another crotchety old man. Ross has a number two crotchety old man. Um, yeah, I'd be right, Ross. I'd be right. You're pretty crotchety. You're pretty crotchety. Um, I should hold a land for Nahiri, so she just say go. Um, but yeah, like the old bordered Path to Exile, the old bordered Trinket Mage, those are just pretty cool. Uh, Ross lost his his, uh, his sword because I, I purged him last last stream. <laughs> There's a land. Uh, let's give Ross his sword back, I guess. How do I do that? Can you do that, Lord Dragon? Can you give Lord Ross his mod? I just do that here. There you go, Ross. Um, so they drew uh, a land. They have Blood Gast and Amalgam. Sure. Oh, I yeah, they have a fetch land anyway, so I can't even, like, pop the relic. Uh, this is fine. We're eventually going to, uh, we're eventually going to Wrath at some point. You should, you should draw a spell here. Um, there's your Amalgam, which is fine. Untap and draw Nahiri. That's pretty cool. I mean, here you can, like, exile the Amalgam. I'd rather just go up, though, I think. So we can like the Heary, we can bolt, bolt, bolt to defend it, which is honestly pretty sweet. Yeah, old border Thurman Inspector is pretty cool. Definitely agree with that. White, red, Nahiri. Going to loot this land away. And draw a Mana Uh, sure. And uh, we're just going to say go here. So yeah, definitely uh, the old border. It's weird that like a, a set's coming out where the only thing I'm interested in is reprints of old cards in old borders. But I mean, whatever. If it sells well, cool, you know. I'm the kind of person that thinks that uh, not everything's for you. And if it's not for you, just shut up. 
basically, you know, like, so, um, let's see here. Let's see here. What are we going to do? Everything attacks me, which is like hyper aggressive. Um, so we're just going to bolt the amalgam. That's like really aggressive. Yeah, reboots rib are great. Like, I don't know like who buys Times Power Remastered, but sure, you know, it's cool. Whatever. Um, I think this is, we could like bolt, he bolt blood gas because everything, everything just comes back, so. We're getting old border damnation. I could see that being one of the cards for sure. Yeah, like I'm just looking forward to like putting the old border cards in my cube. That's really all like, like I, and my cube is like all no foils. I even have gold border cards in there. Just keep the value low. Like I have a gold border force of will, a gold border gaze cradle. Although apparently those, those are worse than me now, which is kind of funny. When I got them 10 years ago, they were worth nothing. But all right, so they attack. And now I'm at 11. Um, Go on. Tell me more. Strict Haven previews? No, that, that's, that's that's still way down, way down the road. So sad that in-person drafts. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, you know, pandemic kind of sucks, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Stomping Ground, untapped, and Blood Crypt. We're going to manatite them into next year. Who's ready? Is it a loam? So we manatite this and probably Wrath Pop Relic. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Get off my plane. Let's untap. We draw Chandra Acolyte of Flame. Don't really need that one. So we're going to Wrath and Pop Relic. And Relic. Draw Celestial Purge. It's kind of tight. And then we'll just pitch the uh, the Chandra, I think. We're just going to Embercool next turn anyway, so. And draw another Relic. <laughs> oh my God! Always under Relic Lock. Always under Relic Lock. Cathartic? They do have the Cathartic, uh, which is pretty good. Um, I would love to manatite this. That would have been hot. But, uh, all right. So here's the Cathartic. We're not going to respond with uh, Relic here. They hit Creeping Chill. Creeping Chill. And we'll, we'll respond uh, to this with the Relic. They've got Bloodgast, Loam, Creeping Chill. Yeah, we're just going to Relic here. And we're cool. And kill them. And kill them. Condemn, sure. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll wait a turn. I guess we'll wait a turn. Rats. Rats. All right. Yep. 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 Okay. Sure. It's fine. That's fine. That's for drawing the anger against the other dredge player. Sure. That's fine. We'll take that. We'll take that all day, every day. All right. Just get him next turn. Our hand is condemn, purge, bolt, bolt. Stupid error. Cool. All right. Cool. Game. Funny, but aha. Uh, Blouses. All right. So, um, yeah, we'll just draw a relic and we'll be fine. We're like a little light on hate. We have two relics and two angers, but this is fine. We'll just draw them. I'll have the third timely on the, uh, on the draw here. Let's go. Let's go. Theoretically, we could draw Ember Emmercool every turn. That is true. That is true. Theoretically, we could draw Emmercool every turn. Um, eventually. Yeah. But, uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Who's pumped for the uh, previews? Eh? Who's ready? Who's ready? All right. Uh, this hand's not very good. Uh, this hand's not very good. We're going to mulligan this hand. Mulligan to double relic one lander. Oh my god. Um... It's got Manatite too. Uh, we're gonna keep. Keep this, ship Chandra, and just hope we draw land. We're on the draw. We need to draw A land. A land. Ready for shock lands of the old dual land frame? What are the odds that the enemy fetch lands are in Time Spiral Remastered with the old frame? Is that possible? 
All right, we're going to play Flagstones here and say go with Manatite up, which is the nut, and uh, hold on to the Relic. Zero percent. Like, did they say it was, did they, did they say it wasn't going to happen? Oh, God. Oh, God. Do it. 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 There are Modern Horizons, too. But you know how sweet that would be? Like, what, what an obvious place to put them, too. Like, why wouldn't you do that? Oh my god. Get off my plane. Woo! God, I love it. I could I could manatee things literally all day. Literally all day. Um They got a thug in there. Do you want to just pop off this relic and draw a card? I kinda think we do. Um I guess we let it dredge. Yeah, whatever, let it dredge, sure. Oh my god. We know they have uh, an imp in their hand, right? They had blood gas prize amalgam. That's kind of a tilt. Don't have a fetch line, please. Oh, they have a fetch line too. God, maximum punish. Could not have gotten more punished. If I had a stop in their draw step, which I definitely should have, um, we would have been, been fine there. I screwed up. I screwed up. I didn't put a stop in their draw step. I'm so stupid. All right. Um, that's really, really bad for us. Yeah, sure. Really bad. Yeah, so stopping the draw step was necessary there. I should have thought about that beforehand. Nothing else, though. So we can just pop the relic now. Pop the relic. Draw a card. Looking for a third land here. Timely reinforcements? Okay. Need to draw a land. Need a land of Calrissian. That's it. Just a Manatith. Just a Manatith. All right. Play relic. Say go. Need to keep our relic up at all times. We know they have a thug and I think an imp in their hand. Oh, we're Tython, Pie of Death. We're Tython. I should have, uh, whatever. It's fine. All right. Hardcast, think we didn't. I will manatize it so fast. Thug, sure. Give me that land out of your graveyard, sure. Inspiring Vantage, awesome. We'll just wildfire here. We're no rush. Go get ourselves a mountain. Anger the gods off the top of our deck. Hello. Hello. You're up. Keep that tithe mana open. Keep that relic mana open. For sure. For sure. Wild. What ho, Jim? What ho, chat? Have we tithed any Jaces yet? Not a Jace. We just we mana tithed a, uh, a Cathartic this game, and we dunked on him. It was awesome. It's a good one. Life is easy when you draw sideboard cards. Yeah, I mean, you put them in your deck to draw them, you know? All right, they're going to Stinkweed him. Um, we can just, like, Anger here, I think. We could mana tithe this and then and then Relic it. Realistically, mana tithe probably isn't getting any better than this. Um... So now that they have three lands, it's like pretty hard to hit anything relevant. Um, hmm. We're going to Timely next turn. Yeah, I think we actually Manatite this. It's pretty funny. Just Manatite it and exile it. We're not going to Anger yet. Uh, we have Timely. It just like blocks everything in play. So, so like, there's no reason to, to Anger yet. Anger is like the ace in the hole. We can just kind of hold on to it for now. All right, we drew a land too, which is uh, pretty good. But yeah, we'll just play timely here. We could wildfire too and go shields down for a turn. That seems too risky. That seems too risky. So play timely. Um, or actually, a higher life in there. Hold on. Um, maybe we just wildfire. We can play a Heary, I guess. That's much better. Let's play a Heary. That's that's just better. Let's play a Heary. Play a Heary and plus it. I guess now they're not going to attack me, but whatever. Plus this, and we'll pitch the... The Wildfire is a two-for-one, so like, I think we just... Yeah, I already, I already hit okay, whatever. We draw land, sure. That's fine. Probably should have held the Wildfire, because it's probably better than a random card. Um, but I hit yes by accident, so not the end of the world. End of the world. Okay, that's the game. Game. 3-0. Oh. This deck never loses. Blouses. This never loses. Never loses. We got previews coming up. We got a deck tech coming up. We're playing, uh, we got an episode of Freshly Brewed coming up. Who likes Freshly Brewed? Raise your hand in the chat. 
Who likes freshly brewed? Let's go. The Harry Boom. Excuse me. Excuse me. Waka waka. Is it an infect brew? No, it is not. It is a Rakdos Sacrifice Modern deck. That's right. Claim the Firstborn in Modern. You never lose if you're having fun. Destroying your opponent's lands is fun. Therefore, you never lose this deck. This is my own list. The idea of floated around, um, but I've worked on this deck for a while. And it was like my fifth version of a deck. Um, just the idea of like playing flagstones and boom bus is not like entirely original. But um, when Wildfire came out, we added that. The Heeries. This is my list, yes. This is my deck. I built it. I would say that I have... I've evolved on the, uh, beyond the basic idea of Boom Bust and Flagstones to make this my deck, for sure. Um, winning die rolls, absolutely. Uh, I mean, this is like turn three Nahiri. We can keep this end. Like, Wildfire adds a lot to this deck. It just adds a level of, uh, adds a level of power to the deck, which is pretty awesome. Ice Nine is a beast. This archetype, um, I have not seen their their list. Any advantage to Sega? Fluffy Wolf Two playing this deck for months. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's not like the most insanely original idea, but this is my list. I've been working on it for a while, so people are very very testy about deck ownership. You know, not every idea is entirely original. Breeding Pool, Yorian, Birds of Paradise. Birds of Paradise is good against us. Birds of Paradise is good against us. We all know who owns Loxobots. That's true, I guess. I'm sure someone someone built a deck, a deck like that before, though. You know, like, putting Mem Knight and Loxobot on the same deck is not, like, crazy, you know? All right, so we're going to... Wrath of God's probably good. We all collectively own every deck. That's correct. That is correct. Let's go. Teeing up for a Wrath against Bird's Paradise seems pretty good. Possible turn three. Get a Mountain. And a Flagstone. You draw another Sunbay Canyon. Almost a full house. Almost a full house. Suppression Field. Yeah, I think Suppression Field is pretty bad. I think Suppression Field is pretty bad. All right, so Sacred Foundry. All right, we have turn three. Wrath or Nahiri. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do here. Tom Ross owns 8-Rack. Not really. Tom Ross just played the deck. You know, I'm sure someone else built that deck or, you know, like, it's the kind of thing, you know, you don't understand. Like, people just build stuff. Like, people who, like, someone does well with the deck, someone else could have played it first. Maybe they, Sahili? We get freaking Feldar Guardian here. That'd be gross. So we're going to, like, Nahiri the bird, I think. Yeah. They are playing Yorian, so it's unlikely they just, like, have the uh, the Feldar Guardian, but... Cleansing Wildfire. So we're not going to Wrath a bird, so we're just going to Nahiri it, which isn't necessarily ideal, but... Unfortunately, we don't really have a good answer to the uh, Sahili combo. We could draw Bolt, I guess, but... Otherwise, like, um, we have, like, basically just Bolt. All right, so Flood Strand. Wall of Blossoms. Sure. So the basic system comes down to, like, will they have Feldar Guardian or not? Copy Wall of Blossoms. That's good. Now, I mean, not Bolt can kill Sahili. That's kind of cool. Um... I don't currently have a target for like a good target for wildfire. All right, draw cataracts. Now we do. So I guess we'll. I guess we'll cleansing wildfire then loot. See what we draw. No, we, we, we draw Chandra, actually. Yeah, we'll just loot first. Let's draw a canyon. Uh, whoop. 
Oh. Oh, it's landing helix. Oh my god. All right, and uh, that's pretty good. We'll play land. Wildfire our cataract. And then we probably just bolt the Sahili now so they can't scry off it instead of waiting for the cast Veldar Guardian. I don't know, honestly. Draw Pillage, too. That's kind of guess. Um, we Pillage them and they can't play Veldar Guardian. Sure, that's fine. We'll Pillage. I'm down with a good Pillage. Everyone loves a good Pillage. They could actually, they could have a. Eldric Evolution. They could have Eldric Evolution. Which would win, right? Is Evolution plus two or plus one? What does Eldric Evolution do? Somebody talk to me. It's plus two, right? Plus two, yes. So we can't just be kidding. Let's play on Eldric Evolution. So we'll just kill the freaking Sealy, whatever. Just gonna kill it now so they can't scribe. What are you gonna do? Bolt you. You're not forcing engagement to do that. That would suck. Alright, so we'll crack the canyon in step. It's a plus Nahiri. You can pillage. I guess if they play a creature who on a wrath will not pop the land, so we can go we can go wrath and pillage in the same turn. They just ephemerated their wall of blossoms. Okay. Ross says I guarantee you that evolution's not in their deck. Try and trick me. Try and trick me. Uh, okay, so they've drawn some cards in Ephemerate. It's fine. Mountain, sure. They got a Feldar Guardian here. What? What? You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. This is unfair. What kind of jerk kills someone's land? Alright, well, now I guess we can't um, Wrath and Pillage next turn. We're just going to Wrath next turn so they can't ephemerate this. That's so sick. Alright, I guess. Let's just draw a card with this thing. Unbelievable. Land Destruction decks are the worst. Only real, real evil people play, uh, play Land Destruction decks. This is outrageous! It's unfair! Be a good, be a good, good soundboard item. Inspiring Vantage. We're gonna cast Wrath here. Um, probably just dump the. It's not Vantage. From the Vantage Flagstones. Cool. All right. I mean, uh, not the uh, the best Wrath of all time, but I guess we'll take it. I have five cards in hand. Just working up this Nahiri, you know. Just working up this Nahiri. Freaking Avalanche Riders. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Pillage kills Rider. Uh, I don't think it does. Alright. If we don't kill that, they uh, they definitely have Ephemerator Resto, but Resto, and they kill our lands, so. Alright. Another land. Green, green. Red. Eternal Witness. Okay. Uh, so we have double pillage next turn, which is pretty dope. Opponent has no intention of playing at paying Echo. No intention at all. You get back to Healy, but we're just going to like stone rain the crap out of them, so I think that's fine. Another flagstones? Alright, so. Discard this. Oh! Oh, it's Lightning Helix! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I think it's getting time, my friends. I think it's getting time. Uh, we bustin'? We bustin'? We could double pillage, or we could bust. Obviously, with a Planeswalker in play, busting is pretty appealing. Um... It could have Ephemerate or Path, but I just can't not bust. I'm sorry. Boom! We have Cataracts and Flagstones. 
And obviously Nahiri's looming too, so. Busted. That card's busted. Upon its society, they're gonna they're gonna ephemerate their eternal witness. That's pretty sick, actually. If they can get back their uh get back a land here. That's fine though. Um then if they want to ephemerate in their upkeep, they can attack Nahiri. If we can go pillage, hopefully. I guess they can like get back ephemerate. Can get back a, can they get back ephemerate and just cast it again? And then get back a million lands in their turn. They got back Misty. They ephemerated again to get back ephemerate. All right, we get the idea. All right, we get the idea. All right, so yes, Flagstones, yes, Sacred Foundry. And now we say go. They have two Ephemerates coming off. So like realistically, like they're gonna have a land up every turn, um, but they can't attack Nahiri. And we would love to just draw a Bolt or a land. But they can't make more than one land drop. So, you know, that's totally fine. Just padding their stats here. Just padding their stats. Get it? Padding their stats. Get it? It's a, it's a basketball joke. They can't attack Nahiri. They're, if they're ephemerating their witness. Now they're in the main phase. And so we need to draw a bolt, a condemn, or a land. Eventually they can. Yeah, I mean, eventually. One day. Or boom, that works too. All right, so we're gonna plus uh, plus Nahiri. I think I would actually prefer um, hmm, a removal spell here. They're at eleven. I mean, we, we, we just we just say go here. We're not gonna boom. They shocked too. Just trying to say they have like a or something like that. But we took condemned to defend our Nahiri, so I just say go. So they shocked, but no spell. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it! Get off my plane. Let's go. Let's go, Emmercool. Let's go. We got Aeons to tear. They have Femorite? Yes, they have Femorite in their end. We know that. We are aware. You are dead. Mm-hmm. That would suck, actually, if we drew Emrakul. Drawing Emrakul this turn would be actually be bad because we were, like, banking on this not attacking for one turn. And we were we knew we were playing Condemn into Ephemerate, which is, like, fine, because we just needed this to not attack for one turn. So if we draw the Emrakul next turn, it's actually um, it's actually pretty bad. But it is a 35-to-1 uh, to 1 shot. So 35-to-1. Story of my life. Good to go. Good to go. All right. Uh, ultimate. We are the ultimate rock rock in it. We are the ultimate rock rock in it. We are the ultimate rock rock in it. Rock rock in it. Rock rock in it. We are the ultimate louder rock in it. We are the ultimate louder rock in it. We are the ultimate Game. rock rock in it. Blouses. All right. So um, four color Yorian blinky... Sahili garbage, basically. Um, we're gonna want like anger, probably. Um, I don't think Condemn's actually good. We just like happen to be like fine there. Do I want a Johnny Vengeant? We definitely like can't let them get going. If they get lands in play, like they certainly will outgrind the the crap out of us. Um, I guess it's fine. Like, I, I don't really know what they're going to, like, be doing or boarding or whatever against us. So, like, 
It's like these were season Pyromancer. It just costs three. Like, what are you cutting for it, you know? Pyromancer's okay, but, like, you got better things to do than that. You got better things to do than that. Trinisphere against Rebound? Yeah, I mean, it's okay. Like, Trinisphere's fine. I think it's great. Rob Master seems okay. Like, they have blockers, obviously, you know? Um, we're also bringing in Anger. We have Wrath, too. So, Rabble Master is a little weird. We're on the draw. Like maybe in the play, you want Rabble Master. But I think this is fine. Let me try this. Relic over Chandra? I don't think so. Yeah, I consider it a Johnny. But, all right, hands and nuts. Bolt the bird. Kill the land. Pillage. Just perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Keep, keep, keep. Pony keeps seven. Selects Yorian as her companion. No change there. No change there. Two Humar. It's up salad. Nahiri boom. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, booms all day. Boom, booms all day. Yes, we are doing a giveaway if the stream gets boosted. 3,400 gems on Arena is up for grabs. We can boost this stream. Plains, Breeding Pool, Stoneforge Mystic. Sure. So we bolt this. We boom the breeding pool. We got batter skull. What excuse? You can't win, Nicole. You're not allowed to win. It's not how it works. We could wildfire into turn three Chandra, but we're just gonna kill land. So Boom. And next turn we pillage, and we draw a land for Chandra and play Chandra on turn four with a wildfire too. Ample Garden. Yeah, whatever. Wall Blossoms. Noble Hierarch. All right. That's not bad. Um, Manatithe. All right, so we're going to we're gonna bolt Manatithe here. We could Wildfire Manatithe, but I think there's no guarantee that they play a spell that they, we can Manatithe if we don't kill the Noble Hierarch. Um... And next turn we'll just pillage. So we'll just uh, we'll just bolt this and say go. Like they're also because they're playing ephemerate. Well, I was actually really bad. They had ephemerate. Actually, we would have we tithed it, but um, with with ephemerate, they're like they're likely to leave them. We'll leave one mana up when they cast their spells anyway, which is kind of annoying. So he got it. He got it. All right. And then we untap and we play pillage. Yeah. Pillage. Kill Yo Lens. Alright, so um now we're gonna draw a land and play Chandra plus your mana and then play boom. So we've killed two lands so far. What's up, Cody? Mana is great. Mana type is great. They shocked again. This time they're playing Sword of Feast and Famine. All right, we need a land here. We need a land. There it is. There it is. Easy game. Easy game. Easy game. Easy game. Chandra. We're going to kill the green this time. We're going to kill the green this time. The green. Boom. Boom. Just easy game. Just easy game. That's pretty funny, Andrew. <laughs> Give up yet? Aether Vile. Card's good against us. They just keep playing lands every turn, so their hands batter skull card. Stone rain. Sure. Um I think we're gonna start by which wild firing. And then just pull this plush Chandra for mana and cast Stone Rain. I don't think we need, I don't think we need to play the plush Chandra for a card here. I think our our uh, stuff's pretty set. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Draw a canyon. I guess in that case, we plus, we plus for a card, so sure. Plus for a card? Nope. Uh, we're going to kill the, the land we can kill, so... Can't kill Misty Rainforest, obviously. Just kill that. Chandra. Wildfire is so good. Just having, like, a... A two-mana divination rampant growth is just, like, so good. In your Boros deck that doesn't draw any cards. Hopefully I didn't, I didn't exile Emrakul. Oh, I would have gotten the option to cast it. 
Obviously, we could win with the Chandra Emblem, too. So, yeah, exiling Emrakul wouldn't be ideal, but top card. Do you want to cast Lightning Bolts? Well, I guess not, right? Just, like, literally one more damage than just not doing it. We can just draw cards to Canyon, so no. Um, why won't this go away? All right, whatever. Uh, draw a card. Sacred Foundry. Draw a card. Manatithe. Hello, Manatithe. Come on down. You have a nice contestant on this awesome deck. Why are these, like... Why is this here? I can't, like, remove this. She won't go away. I can't play this. Whatever. Violent 2. Bolt speeds up the clock by a turn. I mean, like, they're just dead, right? I just ultimate Ma Wrath of God, Manatite it, and they're just dead. Alright, so, uh... I mean, I kind of doubt they have a way to stop my Chandra Emblem. They have some, like, rando way. They, they could have, like, Charming Prince or something like that to, like, randomly gain life. Um, I'm always, like, a little iffy about just, like, popping off an ultimate. But I guess they'd be able to attack it. I'll just do it, whatever. I'm always, like, a little... I'm just, I'm just a very... I'm a very cautious player. I'm a very cautious player. So, hold control. So, chain priority. Play Wrath of God. Chandra them. Manatite Wrath of God. Manatite actually for lethal. Raise your hand in chat if you ever Manatite somebody for lethal. Didn't pay the one. I counted it. Game. Four and up. Easy game. Blouses. Easy game. Four and up. Are we going to 5 0? What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Oh, just, just easy game. Easy game. Yeah, follow the stream with that follow button, of course. Watch it on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Please take five seconds out of your day to uh, to leave a comment. It helps me out a ton. It's free. It's a free way to support me. You ain't using your time effectively anyway. You're just freaking on YouTube. Procrastinating regardless. Prediction time. Are we going to win and trophy this league? Channel points. Someone previewed time shifted ponder. Ooh, that's kind of nice. My preview is coming up. Let's see, uh, let's see what this looks like. Time shift to ponder. Where is it? Good art too. That's that's kind of nice. That's that's kind of nice. Obviously it's LSV. That was to give LSV the freaking nice ponder. Yeah, I I I I never would have thought they'd be able to make um like promotional or like like blingy cards that would actually interest me at all. Um but they did. They've done it. They have. They have done it. I'm going to buy some uh, some old border cards because they look really cool. Because uh, I just I just can't help it. I can't help myself. And our our preview is coming up after this uh, after this um, after this game or match. We have to do a quick deck tech, and then then my previews are coming up. Let's go. On the play again. Just win the die roll every single time. Must be nice. Manatee keep easy game. They can't turn one. There's no freaking spirit guide anymore. Manatithe. There's true name nemesis in old border. I hate that card though. I hate that card. Marshlats. Sangya, sure. Chandra. All right, awkward. Still fine though. Still fine. True Name Nemesis is a disgusting magic card. It should not exist. The fact that that card is blue is an abomination to the game. It should clearly be a white card. There's just literally no reason for that card to be blue. And I will, I will die on this hill. This is Dredge again? Oh, it's black. What is this? End Step Cling to Dust. They're Marsh Flats. All right, whatever, sure. Master the, the Pearl Tribe in Old Border. That's cool. And Inquisition? They're just playing on my mana type here? God, what a rude person. W! Resub, thanks so much. Less than three. Yeah, like, there is just no good reason that true name is blue. Give me one good reason why it's blue. Aside from they just want the good cards to be blue. 
An elder Gargoth should be white as an angel. Uh, why does they took the mana type? Wow. And they have thought seas. All right. Take stone rain here. So we have to our red source here. We need a red source, folks. Need that red source. Let's go, red source. Let's go, red source. All right, that's bad. Stoneforge Mystic, sure. Uh, that's pretty annoying. Obviously, we cut a mountain for the the Dark Steel Citadel, so we are getting a little punished here. But, <laughs> God. And now they have no reason to play a spell. All right, all right. Maybe our luck's running out a little bit here, just a little bit. Maybe our luck's running out just a little bit here. They have a third land. We do have pillage for batter skull, so it isn't like the worst, I guess. But hey, tits. I got you a present. What's this? A present. Should I open it? If you'd like to. On stream. Sure. We have a present, apparently. Even though we're getting mana screwed, we have a present. Who wants to see the present? Draw red source. Okay. Um. Narsa should also be white, obviously. The impulse, the fact we need to change, but like... Alright, so we have Pillage for Batter Skull. Uh, we can't really play a Planeswalker here, though, because obviously we'll just lose it to an attack. So we just play Pillage here. Hit the Blood Crypt. They'll put in Batter Skull. We take a hit. We still got Mana Tithe up, you know. Um... Cue the Zelda chess theme. Yeah, right? What is this? What's this from? Huh. Nicole got me a secret layer. Party hard, shred harder thing. Why'd you get this? That's... That's cool. Sure. It's my first ever secret layer. As I just said that I never bu ever buy promotional things ever because I don't like them. But I actually think this one's really cool. I would never, ever, 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 ever play with these cards. But I agree that for the for framing them and putting them on the wall is a really cool idea. So that's pretty cool. As many secret layers came and passed, but I thought that that one was just like... That's pretty cool. I like that. In, like your, that. Uh, in your wheelhouse. That's sweet. I like it. I like it. Thanks, Dance. What was that for? I don't know. It wasn't going... It was like... I ordered it before Christmas. Really? Because obviously, like they they hmm. released forever before, and then it, the, the, and then they were like, oh, it's gonna come like be printed at like February tenth or something. I'm like, I don't think it would get here in time for Valentine's Day. Oh, <laughs> like it's like Christmas. And I'm like, right? Well, no, it, 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 I ordered it before Christmas, but then, you know, as far as like it being produced and delivered and stuff, I'm like, what am I gonna do? Hold it for like St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> They're trying to pat their stoneboard mystic. Do I manatite this? Once the path resolves, this is not... They know about I'm Manatite, don't they? No, we just drew it, I think. Oh, uh, they took the first one. Yeah. This is basically a stone rain. So we have to cast it, I think. I mean, like... I don't think Birgit's very good. We also had a sub. Pie of Death. Thanks, sub. Appreciate that. What's your name? Where are you from? What's your name? Where are you from? Secret Layers. Look at that. Yes. I thought we could make it framed all Should we, like, open it? Sure. Open that. Open that and tell me what's inside. Uh, but true to form, I got you non-foil. So non-foil, cool, yes. cool. Because, you know, it's a cool box. Ooh. This, look at this. And the box is to celebrate wizards, you know, selling out. Party hard, hard. shred harder. <laughs> the, the delayed Christmas present here. Sure, we'll go with that. Or an early birthday present, or a, I don't even know. Those are really cool. I don't know how to do it. Oh, it's like a little thing in the back. Ah. All right, I'm F6. Leave me alone. <laughs> there it is. Pretty sweet. Pillage is super sweet. All right, we gotta play this game here. Uh, they didn't play a land too, which is important. So they can't bounce the batter skull now too, which is awesome. So just pillage this bad boy. And then F6 again. Open up our uh, our secret layer here. No goblin secret layer. Yeah, that, that, the goblin secret layer didn't look that cool. Yeah, I think, I think definitely getting this frame would be really cool. 
Hang it in our new living room. It has nothing, nothing hang up yet. Oh, no. They have another equipment. Oh, God. That's so bad for us. All right. There they are. Pretty sweet. Those are nice. This is the hallway, probably. It's a little smaller, so you look somewhere you can get like closer and you can see yeah, it. Yeah, I thought maybe like a, a like a landscapey sort of um, yeah, like frame. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Sweet. So, Thanks, Dutz. Welcome. All right, there's your equip. Figured we no condemn to punish them. <laughs> frame them together? What do you mean? Like, figure out how to frame them together. I oh, yeah, we'll to figure it out. I get them framed those myself. Are, those are pretty cool. They are cool. All right. Uh, so they, they sorted us here. Now... We can uh, we can Chandra the Stoneforge and we have Nahiri too. Let's just grab the uh, Acolyte of Flame. Well, Acolyte can kill the sword. All right, so untap, draw the pillage. Sure. So we just like Chandra kill here probably rather than Nahiri kill, because Chandra can can cast. So we draw Lemming, go Chandra and Nahiri. So Chandra, they have five. Imagine they met Mantai Dust here. How cool that would be. <laughs> That'd be sweet. That'd be sweet. What was my secret card in the bottom? What? What? There's no secret card. What are you talking about? Oh, there is a secret card. There's a secret card? Oh. <gasps> <laughs> where's Mjolnir? Where's Mjolnir? It's obviously Angrath. What else would it be? Secret card in the bottom. Angrath. Super metal. That's actually really cool. Super metal. They thought season they conceded. Game. Look at me, I'm not even playing, I'm not even paying attention here. Blouses. Angrath, root beer, thanks for following, appreciate that. Easy game. It's easy game. They have all the discard spells in the world, can't ever beat us. Can't, oh, who's your man side too? Alright. Who thought we were losing that game? Raise your hand in chat. Who thought we were going to lose that game? Because you were wrong. Alright, so, some sort of like, Mardu, Stoneforge, whatever deck. Um... Huh. Like, Wrath of God is like... Manatite Condemn. No fire. No steel. What's up, Kin? This is, this is, this is my Nahiri Boom deck. I, I bet it's like a lot. Um, I don't know what else they have. It's all, the only threat they play with Stoneforge. They could have like... It's MF Boom? <laughs> I like that. Purge does kill a germ token, so I might have Liliana. I can kill that. Um, I kind of think I just don't sideboard, honestly. Like, I kind of want Rabble Master. I'm not really sure. Um, it's bad against Batter Skulls, for sure. Yeah, Johnny Vengeance is certainly interesting, but I don't know what I want to cut. I got, like, a Wrath, maybe. I doubt they're, like, going super wide. And then maybe I want, like, a Purge over a Wrath. Because Purge deals with, with germ token, possibly Liliana. Pro tip of the day. Listen to MF Doom. It's a very good tip. Rest in peace, MF Doom. Mardu Stoneforge sounds good against, against creature decks. Yeah, like I don't think we really need to do anything else here. This sounds pretty insane. Just got two LD spells, two removal spells, and three lands. And a... Uh, and a uh, instructable land. No, no red source again, but I think that's fun. I think that's fun. Let's go. Basic planes go. Wow. Imagine playing... Base oh my god, imagine drawing Mana Tithe. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Who's ready for this? The finger's on the trigger. Who's ready? Who's ready? Get off my plane. Actually, did I, just, did I just bolt this? I think I just bolt this, actually. Save Mana Tithe. Nah, we'll, we'll Tithe it. Because, like... We're booming next turn, and we're pillaging a turn after, probably, so we'll just, we'll just cash the Titan. Just cash it in. Alright, another pillage. We can draw a red source here. That is definitely uh, on the to-do list. Boom. We kill, the, we kill the black, right? It's just two colors, so... So if we don't draw a red, I mean, like... Opponent says, seriously? Jimmy Salt and chat, please. Jimmy Salt and chat, please. We got a seriously on the Mana Tithe. Most busted opener ever. Well, yeah, I played Boom Bust. <laughs> of. Most but broken. Ban Mana Tithe, please. This shouldn't be allowed. This shouldn't be allowed. And nothing. All right. We need a red source, folks. We need a red source for the most busted opening ever. Red source. That's not the worst, I guess. All right. So, sure. 
a wildfire. It's a red source eventually, you know? Red source eventually. All right, give me the wildfire. Give me a mountain. And we drew another cataracts. Sure. Play planes. There you go. White counterspell. Tapping a white? Oh, they're a shadow deck. Okay. Nice condemn. They just took, uh, just took one for no reason. It's definitely a shadow deck. They have the 3-3. Uh, the three, three. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So we'll untap and we can pillage. What do we pillage? All right, there's a shadow, sure. We obviously have condemn for shadow, which is pretty dope. We can draw like one of our four mana planeswalkers. That'd be pretty cool too. Planeswalker, flagstones. All right. Um, I mean, we want to like want to condemn to kill shadow. I can't bolt and pillage. What do we pillage here? Probably a clearing, I guess. Pillage a clearing. Just say go. Are we, are we going to condemn the Ranger Captain of Eos? You know, it's also possible they're playing Scourge. This guy. Yeah, they're not playing Scourge. They're playing Dreadhorde Arcanist and Stoneforge Mystic. They're playing Scourge, too. So, Shock, sure. So, we can just take three here and try and get the, uh, the Shadow with the Condemn as well. They are playing Scourge. Oh my god. They just bolted themselves. Oh my god. Oh, they, they, they took one too. Alright. I thought that the, the Condemn was going to kill the, was gonna kill the Shadow here. Alright. Um, I guess if we Condemn the Ranger Cap, they can just sack it too. It's actually really bad for us. So we'll just, we'll just hold, the, uh, hold the Condemn here. They bolted themselves, folks. Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself. Pro Chicken Wing. Thank you for five months of great content. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate the resub. Appreciate the resub. You're awesome. All right. Um, definitely some slightly awkward mana here. We've drawn a lot of our Carlos lands. Condemn always will you put them at 13. Yes, when we hit the shadow. Um, we can like pillage their red source and then condemn. Yeah, we're going to pillage now. Just leave condemn up. We're going to hold land in our hand too. Pillage the red source. And uh, we'll just say go with Condemn up. One more land and we have to rip. Oh, actually. Yeah, then I could have I could have played Cataracts and Pillage and Wildfired. But hitting them off black is possibly a thing too. So I can't throw out Caesar. That's fair. That's fair. If they have a discard spell, it's actually pretty bad for us. Yeah, I could buy that. They could just have like they could just have a, a black source in hand though. White white in the pool. What is this? Stone for it, sure. Just your average batter skull shadow deck. You know, no big deal. No big deal. There's your batter skull. So we can just like bolt the stone forge. And they're gonna attack. And uh condemn ya. Condemn you. There is a chance this is their only basic. Most shadow decks don't play many bases. They probably have a swamp though. So, all right. So, untap. We bolt the stone forge. We can be cleansing wildfire. Should I draw, draw a planeswalker here? Some kind. They're gonna sack the the ranger captain of Eos. That is that is gutsy. That is a gutsy move, opponent. Gutsy move. All right. I mean. I guess it worked. We can't play Nahiri, but they just have nothing, so that's fine. Um, sure. We're not going to play land. We'll just hold land so I go. Right? Yeah, it's fine. All right. So our bolt killed the Ranger Captain and the Stoneforge Mystic. They're at 13. Yeah, that was, uh, that was something. Black. A 1-1 one, one Death Shadow. Sure. We'll be larger next turn, so we may not cast Nahiri here because we don't want to uh, have it die. We can use Nahiri to kill it into the shadow, so let's play a Wildfire on the Flagstones. 
Did Timely come in? Uh, no. Because we didn't know how aggressive they were. Always saw a Stoneforge and, like, discard spells. So, didn't know they were a Shadow deck. Uh, go get a Mountain. And a Sacred Foundry. We drew a Johnny Vengeant. That's kind of tight, actually. Uh, yeah, I think we just... Uh, you, you know what we're going to do. You, you, you know what we're going to do. Bart, save a line! Bart, save a line! Bart! Save a line, Bart! Save a line, Bart! Save a line! Oh, it's oh, I gotta get Bart save a line on the soundboard for some, some meta soundboard action. End step. Take one. Sure. Alright. Cling to dust on the end step. Sure. Most busted opener here. Just just so busted. Just so busted. Alright. Triple silent clearing in a planes. Eleven life points. They sack a clearing, so I was about to say they're kind of close to playing Batter Skull. They are no longer no longer close close to playing Batter Skull. What's up, Panda? Alright. Um Panda. Do you want some panda cheese? No, I don't really want any panda cheese. Don't you know? And discard the cataracts, draw foundry, sure. Sunbay Canyon, draw a card. Manatite, Manatite, sitting in a tree. Counter your spell. Here's some RNG. I don't, I don't know, I guess. I, I can't really freestyle. <sighs> Just easy game. Oh god, here it comes. They're gonna go off the planet here. They're gonna go off the planet. Get off my plane. Ah! Oh. Game. Five and oh! Blouses. Five and oh. Thank you. You're all too kind. You're all too kind. Easy game. This deck, we did, we did win all of our die rolls, to be fair. But this deck's super sweet. I just love this deck. I just love playing this deck. It's just so much fun. Um, the Condemns were great. The Condemns were really good. Obviously, Wildfire is great. I didn't uh, regret adding the Dark Steel Citadel. We definitely had a, a one or two spots where we just didn't have enough red. But having the actual Indestructible Land almost, in basically every game is very important. So Cyborg is a little work, I think. Um, these Transferers feel kind of eh. We do have a lot of some cheap spells in our deck. So like, and there aren't really any combo decks, so probably would cut the Trinisphere, cut like Trinisphere, Trinisphere for like Relic, maybe Anger. Might be like a little bit too much dredged cards, but like they have other, uh, they have other considerations as well. Don't like Little Chandra, maybe Spyro is better. What's Spyro? What's Spyro? But yeah, deck's super sweet. YouTube folks, I love you. Like, comment, subscribe, look for more videos. And, uh, and uh, yeah, you're all great. Thank you, YouTube. Appreciate it.